All right, we're gonna create a new file. Um, I make all my banners 800 by 200 just so it's standard and we don't get one wider and when we post it on the website, it's not, uh, it looks retarded. So just click OK. And usually if you wanna make a cool banner, you should always fill in the background with black. Um, a cool effect we have is flame. You go to render, nature, flame. I probably already showed you this. All right. New layer, transparency. My flame's not working, so I have to do this little thing. You should already. Um, okay, it's not working. So we're not going to be able to do flame. I'm having little problems with my uh, GIMP. I'll have to fix that later. So right now we're not going to do flame. All right. Um, a cool uh, thing I like to use is uh, graffiti. Um, you probably don't have it. You have to download it from the fonts. So we'll do um, six. For example, you want to do white. All right. Now we're gonna do. I already made this. It's a good example. Kings. All right. And then we're gonna make it nice and big. And now another cool font I have is um, a crown font. Monarch bats. Click it and G makes a crown. Change it white. Okay. Move it to the Z. It. The rotate button. Okay. And now, uh, right now, the G is on the top layer. So, uh, merge down. Just go to merge down. And now, the kings is now a uh, big one layer. And when you move the entire letter the crown is not stayed still so if you have two layers um, this is what would happen um, if you had two layers the G was not in the, included in the layer or the crown this is what would happen and then uh, we'd have to then move the crown to where we would like so instead we just merge down the layer and now we move crown and the letters without any problem and now what you want to do is you want to um, layer the image size, and those yellow those yellow uh, things should go around the entire banner. And we can make some cool letters. And we can do filter, alpha to logo, um, and we go to neon. And these are all different things you can do. You can test them out, whatever. We go to neon, and we do black. We just leave this for now, uh, black and gray. You should always leave the background color black. But the glow color, you, you can change the glow color to whatever you'd like. Right, we're going to leave it green for now. All right, and effect size 30 pixels. You can mess around with it if you want, but 30 pixels is fine for now. All right, it makes that cool little thing right there. And then we can um, uh, do kings, and then we can have like a little, uh, um, there's another uh, font I like that's off the font. It's called... Lunar Luna bar, Luna bar, and we just type in a little text. Um, I did a banner for kings for uh, um, for Burger King, so I'm just gonna do the. I'm just gonna make it have it your way. Uh, slogan, but you you want to make it a lot smaller if it's like usually a slogan, and then, and especially with Luna Luna bar. It makes a really big font. So we go have it your way. I guess we can put it down here. Move this up over here. Oh wait. Right. Um with Kings, when we made that uh um made the cool letters, it made neon tubes. It made neon tubes, which make it look like that. And it made neon glow, which is that. What you want to do is merge them down so you can move them around together and you won't have that effect that I showed you where one is um 
moves and the other one stays. So now you move, have it your way. And you want to do layer to image size. Basically, this around here. And then what we want to do is to create a mirror effect. We do um, duplicate layer. Click the highlighted neon glow, which is this. And we go down here, duplicate layer. It's a quick way of doing it. Now, neon glow copy. We want to do this little button, which makes it reverse. And then we want to click the little swirls right here. And then we click all the way to 180 degree angle. 180 degrees. It rotates it upside down. Rotate. And then we move it down for a mirror effect. Now it's cutting off, but it's alright. It's going outside. This is what we're going to do. We're not done with the mirror effect yet. We're going to go to Neon Glow Copy. We're going to go to Layer to Image Size. Or, yeah, Layer to Image Size. We're going to do the Gradient Tool right here. Make sure it's black and white. And just click this to reset it. And you want to go to uh, foreground to transparent click that I already have it set um, you want to make the shape linear it should already be linear alright and then you just go like this Alright, that's good for now. Um, now you see the have it your way sign, it was kind of going duller, so all we just do is neon glow copy, we go to mode, instead of normal we do screen, and that turns to white. Then we want to make a new layer, hopefully this works, and transparent, it should already look transparent. Go to filters, recently used flame, hope it works. No, it didn't work. Cancel. Filters. Reshow flame. Uh, I hope it works. No, nope, not working. Whatever. It's not working, so we can't use flame. Program. And now we kind of have that cool effect with the have it your way. And that's basically a tutorial on how to make that. Um, we have all that. And if you want to merge down all the layers, control M. Layers merge option, expand as necessary, right, whatever. Um, and basically that's that. And see, if you, this is the background layer right here. You want to delete that layer. Usually when you make a, a Alpha to logo, it'll make a, it'll automatically make a new black, black background logo. And what will happen is, say you uh, had some cool like uh, Burger King guy here, you lost it. And basically for King, um, if you want to get a, a guy, you want to go here, and we're gonna search the Burger King guy. Here, King guy. Uh, images. Um, this is the guy I already used. Wait for it to load. Whatever. Copy image. Go back to GIMP. Edit. Paste as new layer or just paste. Okay. New layer. Okay, as you can see, it's too big for the banner. So what we want to do is we want to go to the scale tool, hit that, uh, click make sure it's on the chains. Oh no, cancel. Make sure the the clipboard, the guy is uh, highlighted. The yellow thing is highlighted when you do the scale tool. And then you want to make sure the chains are connected. Just drag until it's about right there. Scale. It's a little blurry, so you want to go to filters, enhance, sharpen, and sharpen a little. Alright, now we sharpened it, move, 
And as you can see, it's covering the letters. So what we want to do is we want to go to normal. And this is what I was talking about uh, before. It's covering the letters. So if you want the letters to be on top, you can just go and uh, drag this to the bottom of the layers, which is not working right now. It's my GIMP is slow. So you just drag it underneath. But for now, we're just going to do clipboard uh, screen. That's what happens. Okay. Now we move the guy out of here. To right around here. Um, the Hadaway logo. Put it up a little bit. So we can see it. Um, the way. Layer to image size. Now if you don't want it white, we can just go to... Uh, that that's enough for now, and that's basic tutorial on how to do it. On how to do uh, do that. All right.